Good evening and welcome to the Box Super Rugby semi-final against the University of Bath and Hartbury College. The University of Bath have just emerged out onto the pitch and now the home team, Hartbury College, are emerging from the sheds. It has to be said in terms of the run of form, Hartbury College they have won four out of their last five games. Their last came in the quarterfinals against Northumbria University, winning that by 26 to 19 here. For the University of Bath, they've won five out of five in their last encounters. 12 and a half minutes gone as Toby Venner looks to feed into the scrum with Elias Cavan standing right beside but standing exactly, they've gone the switch of play as the forwards of Harvey decide to go left, short in field. Bath's defence needs to be solid again. Venner passes to Alex Gibson, the prop. Big tackle by Austin Hay of Bath. Now wide from Chamberlain. Murick. Murek the winger for Harbury, so close. Referee tells Bath to release. The ball has been released. They've come upfield again. And it's slow, it's patient build up. Harbury trying to run the angles as Partington with a fantastic tackle. That's a great tackle. He's held him up as well there. They might have held him up this time. Referee tells the players to release. Harbury come at it once more yeah. and they've scored in the corner Harbury have the first try in this box Super Rugby semi-final Chamberlain comes forward it's a high strike yeah. and it's a good one as well Harbury have the full seven points Harbury College seven the University of Bath nil Chamberlain, Robbie Smith again, tackle five metres out by Austin Hay. He's tried to beat the forward for pace there, he spotted the forward in the uh, defensive line, but we know Austin Hay's got a bit of pace on him himself and he's managed to keep up. He does indeed as Luke Chadwick tried to affect the tackle. I don't know whether there's another penalty advantage to Harbury. Player goes on though, Chamberlain just a little kick through! And it's caught by a Harbury winger in the form of Every Murick. That's a killer blow for Bath. Yeah, right before the half-time, that's exactly what they didn't want because that puts Harbury another two scores ahead and Bath will be gutted to concede that. As it currently stands, Harbury College are winning this contest by 17 points to three. Bath haven't really had the chance to use the scrum to their attacking advantage. Rimmer feeds into the scrum and again Luke Bone brings it down. Penalty advantage and the penalty is received. Just 30 seconds left here of the half. It'll be interesting to see whether they go for the, the uh, corner here to try and make up the deficit or whether three will be enough. I think that they'll go for the corner. No, Captain Burridge decides to go for posts. It's a good strike from Partington, and it's over. So the University of Bath do have six points. They are 11 points down, but they'll be encouraged by the time that every time they've got into the opposition 22, they have most of the time got something. The halftime score here at Harbury College. Harbury College, 17, the University of Bath, six. And good ca carry by Arthur Cordwell there. Angus Hinton with a trundle of the Cordwell, last ditch defending for Harbury there. This Bath's best attacking chance for a try in the whole of this game. Just a couple of metres out now. There's Barry and they scored! The University of Bath have struck back immediately in the second half. That's a great try, it just shows what persistence brings you. They've kept at it so far this second half, they've been more dynamic, they're putting the ball through the hands 
and right on the, the try line there. It's great work through the faces from the forwards and there's a deserved try. We're trying to look to see who the try scorer might have been. I think, I think it might have been James Hadfield, the hooker. And Partington with a simple conversion. So the, so the University of Bath have brought it back to a four-point score. Harbury College still lead by 17 points to 13. And this was a the theme last week in the quarter-final. The Harbury allowed Northumbria back into the game, but they then scored late on to still win. Have Bath got what it takes to go that one better? It's a four-point game now. One score in it. Back to the game. Hadfield throws long and it doesn't go astray. Max Chesset Clemenson of Harbury picks up the ball. Missed opportunity there for Bath as Sultan of Harbury comes in. Jack Kenningham trying to hold the man up. Didn't quite have it. Chamberlain back in field to Murich on the inside ball. Murich still going forward. Will it be a third for Harbury? No. Short maybe. The referee's given the try. He's just slid over. They're now probably going to be down by 11 points again, which they are. Harper College are now winning by 24 points to 13. Just caught out just outside of Harper's 22. Again, another hint of offside from Harper. James Caitlin with, with the latest carry. George Wooten, who's come on to replace Ed Rimmer, passes in field to my Jack Davis. Just encroaching into the 22. Burridge. Miles Reed! Oh, Reed can go on his own! Reed's going to score! That's incredible finish. What a flat pass from Burridge. He's absolutely opened the door there and beaten the Harbury defence with the angle running. Incredible try. And the crowd goes silent. Partington kicks the simple conversion. Bath have reached 20 points now. They are only now 11 points down. They still have to score twice. As the referee is just having another word to Will Biggs, the captain of Harbury. And it's a second yellow card. A second yellow card has been issued to Harbury. This so could Bath be will be down. Harbury will be down to 13 players for the remainder of this game. Just nine minutes to go. That's Jack Davis rises to catch the ball. And again, Bath trying to set up the driving ball. It's going. It Forward yeah, still, Will Hughes tries to this weight, is it going to be, yes yeah. it's a try, a try has been scored by the University of Bath, and Bath tear back towards halfway. It's a high kick, and it's through, oh, that's a kick. Will Partington's done it, Bath are now only within seven points, and they have the two man advantage, what can they do here? It's so close! <laughs> the scrum starts, Toby Vedder feeds the scrum, Bath... Oh, the Huge boy. scrum from Bath there, to be fair. But Harbury look to try and play on, still Chamberlain comes into midfield, tackled by captain Alex Barrett. Vedder thinks that that is enough, and Harbury have won! Oh, there's a bit of a dust up after the final whistle, but they have won by 37 points to 27. I'm joined now by the captain of the day, Alex Burridge. Alex, unfortunately, it wasn't to be. Yeah, um, absolutely devastated for the boys. Um, fortunately, it wasn't our day, but we can be immensely proud of what we've achieved this season. Um, you know, we've done the double over Exeter, we've done the double over Hartbury, we've beaten Leeds Beckett and... Fortunately, it wasn't our night tonight, but we'll move on and we've set a massive legacy for this club for years to come now. Well, we, were, we made a name of being in the top four. I guess we've achieved that, but we're just disappointed. We wanted to be in the playing for the one and two spot. Um, yeah, we've, we've come a long way, um, but we're still, we still sort of falter at that semi-final hurdle and uh, we'll, we'll be really focused on how we not only take the, the really good stuff that we've worked on, you know, right from August it's been pre-season um, and really progressed on uh, on a number of areas uh, on and off the field. So that, there's a lot of positive stuff for that, a lot of stuff that we made changes that we'll keep for next year. And But 
you know, there's a lot of we'll keep driving ourselves to, to, to take that one or two steps better as well.